Hello Forest Rangers and welcome to Forest Ranger Simulator. Got my hands on a demo version of it. This game should be coming out on Kickstarter on January 12th. I will put a link in the description below so if you're interested in checking it out on that date you can go ahead and look on it and uh, yeah it'll be on Kickstarter somewhere around the 12th of January. Uh, the developers are Virtual Magic and the publisher is Freemind. I've been into the game, I've done the sandbox mode which has the tutorial and I've done the quest line mode. Either way, I'm only allowed 30 minutes to play the game before the game exi exits on out. Uh, save mode, yeah, demo version. The save option has been blocked. And of course, well, you can't continue because you have no save mode to go in. And uh, I'm also gonna leave the music up because I think the music is pretty darn good. Hopefully it's not copyrighted. But let's get right into new game. Yeah, quest path. I can show you more in sandbox mode. So let's go into sandbox mode right here. So our job is to take care of the forest and its surrounding areas. Uh, start with the tutorial. I'm probably not going to read the tutorial. I'm probably just going to go over quickly what it says so we can get probably more done. Uh, yeah, there's certain types of garbage that go into certain, certain types of trash cans. And uh, we got to go and check our computer for other things as well. So yeah, there's different color um, containers as you can see. Plastic and metal. You got yourself glass. You got yourself your mixed trash. And of course you got yourself electronics. Now, if I were to take like a rubber tire and put it in here in the electronics bin, I would lose money because that's the wrong bin. But if you put the right stuff in the right containers, well, you earn some cash. Uh, if you're wondering what holds what, well, they got little question marks here. You can click on that. Sorry, let me get that off there. Uh, you can click on that and they'll tell you what goes in each container. Now, these aren't the only containers. There's actually other containers. We'll probably go ahead and buy another one uh, just because so I can show you uh, what that's all about. But we're going to follow the little uh, magnifying glasses so we continue on with the tutorial. Uh, we can buy ourselves flashlights and whatnot. So let's click on the PC. Don't worry, not everything's in English. So uh, I figured it some out. Uh, this one right here is, uh, this will be for an auction. Uh, I'll show you about that in a little bit. Um, this one right here is a store. The first one is for like furniture for the house. I really haven't gotten that far. And I probably can't because it's only like 30 minutes in the tutorial that I can be in. So uh, we won't deal with that. We'll go back. Uh, other stuff we're going to need. Well, uh, this says a flashlight. Uh, we'll go ahead and buy that. Uh, the, the texting on the glass seems a little bit bright now. I might need a crowbar as well. And i tell you what, we're going to buy a blue dumpster for 50 bucks. Let's go ahead, go ahead and buy one of those. I think I'll need that more than anything. So I'm down to $10, which is... Uh, it's okay, everything's fine. Um, so you don't actually get it right into your inventory. It'll be delivered and uh, your items will actually be delivered in this general vicinity right here. Um, but let's come over here to the trash. Yeah, look at all this trash on the ground, it, it, it's bad. So you can pick up various objects and uh, with your hand and it'll go into a trash bag. I don't wanna do that yet because that's why I did uh, the first time around. Uh, we're not gonna do that quite yet. Um, yeah, so if I hit the Q uh, button on my keyboard, it'll show the different kind of colors of trash, meaning that's what barrel it goes into. So if I hit Q, look on down here. All right, so now we're going to go ahead and pick up only one color and one color only because I don't want to be putting the wrong trash in the wrong bin because I will earn money off of most of it. But if I pick up, say, a blue item off of this, that'll be deducted off my total. So I'm going to go ahead and just keep picking up trash. And you also see in the bottom left hand corner, you got yourself a little trash bag. You can see right now the color of the trash bag of the outline is yellow. Let me know what kind of uh, material I'm picking on up. Let me exit out of that here. Now, for every minute I'm in this uh, vision of uh, knowing what trash is which, I do get charged like a dollar, I think a dollar a minute it says. So make sure you turn that off when you're not using. So I'll turn that off. Now, if I hit my right mouse button, we'll get a yellow trash bag. Easy peasy, nice and easy. Uh, let's come over to here and we'll drop it into here. $3.05 has been added to my name. Uh, that's great, isn't it? Uh, what is this here? To collect small trash in the bag, click on it with the left mouse button. Uh, we've been doing that, but thank you. Um, you can pick up large items. So like this one where it shows two hands, that's not gonna go into a trash bag. So you gotta pick it up with both hands and you only can carry one item at a time, but you gotta keep holding down your mouse button. Um, this I know is plastic, so we'll come over here and we'll just toss this, drop it right in there for a wonderful dollar. Isn't that great? Uh, everything's grand. 
Uh, to put away bags in which you are collecting garbage, click the right mouse button. Yeah, well, I've already showed you we can drop the bag down, so we don't need to be doing that. So we're going to skip that for a moment because we've already done that. Uh, over here, in the long run, well, we can eventually buy ourselves a truck. Now, from what I've seen, I think the truck on the store page is like 900 bucks. So it's not that expensive, uh, but the truck will break down. You will need to repair it once in a while. Um, what do they mean, mean by repair? Do I actually physically have to do it or just buy materials? Not sure. Can't get that far into the game as it is. Uh, so yeah, we got some tires here. Wait, do I have the one for rubber? No, I don't. Oh, there's our blue trash can. So that's for paper. All right, uh, that's good. So there are some hidden trash bags back here for the tutorial. So this is why I want a blue one. So I can go ahead. You may find these out in the wild or in the forest. Just laying around. So if they are just completely one color, you're safe just to throw them right into the bin that they belong into. And that is some pretty darn good trash. Now these gray ones. Um, I got to figure out how to... Okay, so I didn't realize I could throw it a far ways. At least I thought I could. I don't remember seeing that before. Uh, it did say uh, there's a way to unpackage what's in there. Um, maybe I'll find out later on, but I didn't find it out in the tutorial. Uh, so maybe we'll fi figure it out later on here. All right, so where do they have me going next here? I think my crowbar, so on the left-hand side, you can see a delivery truck with a crowbar. My crowbar has arrived, so we'll pick that on up. That goes into my inventory, which is great. Let me just open up this door here. All right, so where's the magnifying glass trying to send me now? I've kind of forgot here. Uh, well, all right, I don't see anything yet. But uh, other things you can do. Now we'll do the auction part of it. So you can pick up items like this. You're like, well, this doesn't look like trash. I mean, it's on the ground. If you bring it into here, this is what you, we call, well, I'm going to call the auction room. You can see where it's green. That means that is something that we can sell on the auction site. So we're going to bring stuff in here like this. It's green. Let's drop it in there. Um, I think that will turn green as well. I don't know what it is, but we're going to sell it. So if it keeps on turning green and you want to sell it and earn some more cash, just bring it in here, drop it in here. That's all good. I think the lamp is good, but now there's going to be this old TV over here that is not going to be good to sell. But if you bring something in here, you see where it turns red? That means you can't sell it on the auction. So this is electronics. Drop in there for 520. All right, that's pretty darn good. So to sell your auction items, you come over to your PC and you come on down to the bottom part and you can see this is all the stuff we put in here. So some speakers, a lamp, uh, an Atari. Uh, is that like a VCR or a radio? Can't quite tell, but you gotta click on all of them one at a time. Um, hope they add an all button or something like that at some point. But for now, this is the way you do it. And now these are all on the auction site. So, yep, you put items in the auction and you have to wait a bit for a merchant so someone will just buy them and you get the money that way so there is all that lovely stuff so now there's also beehives um this beehive here has no bees around it uh what i found in the other play mode is you got to bring the beehives like way over here uh where there's flowers out in the meadow and you'll get a symbol that uh, in the honeycomb area whoops sorry hopefully i can continue where i was yes i can all right, um, you'll find uh, like a honeycomb symbol above the beehive that you put down, you'll be able to collect honey in the future. Also other things that you can do, you see this little flagpole right here. Um, I recommend keeping that there until you get to know the map. So um, I don't know if your home is always marked, but you can see the blue marker on the bottom part of the screen at the center. There is a blue flag on the compass. It kind of tells me where home is. Um, if you take that down, you start wandering around the map, and the map can get kind of... You can kind of get twisted around if you're not paying attention. I mean, yeah, you can always look at the map by bringing the map up. But it's easier just to have the compass there and show you where the map is. You can buy more flags on the uh, the website, on the computer. And uh, you can flag other things as well. 
Now let me pick up my flashlight here. We might need that. Now over here, there is some bird seed just laying here. We're gonna pick that on up. And I'm also gonna pick up the fire extinguisher because you never know when a forest fire is gonna break out. You may have to put out a fire. Uh, wait, there is a, I saw the compass. Where's the compass trying to bring me here? Ah, yes, over here. So what's this telling me here? Uh, some trash is so large that it won't fit into a bag. Such trash you may carry by hand or put in the back of your car. You may find uh, you have more valuable and instead of dumping them into containers, you can try to sell them at an online auction. So we kind of been over that. Um, looks like my hammer. Did I order a hammer? I don't remember ordering a hammer, but a hammer is in. Uh, let's see here. Where is it trying to send me to next? Oh yeah, the auction. Yep, I've already shown you the auction. So we'll just go ahead and exit out of that. Uh, the fire extinguisher, I did pick up that. We went over that. Uh, over here, yep, you're trying to tell me about the flag. Yeah, we can purchase more flags and more dumpsters. Yes, we know about that. And let's see, now you're bringing me over here. Um, I've already picked up the bird seed. Uh, this is telling us where uh, we can pick up our bot, uh, merchandise right here. Uh, I have tried to click on the purchase symbol. Um, I don't know in the demo if it's just giving us a house or this is a starter house. I have no idea. Uh, so, yeah, we can pick up items like this. Now, you can use your mouse wheel to rotate it uh, one, uh, you know, left or right. Or if you hit the E key, it also rotate it now the other direction. So you can rotate your items any which way you want as you're holding them. Um, I guess we'll bring this in here and just drop it right there for now, I guess. Uh, it's good. Uh, beehives, yes. Uh, do I have time to show you where the beehives go? Uh... We could venture out in the wilderness, so yeah, I think we'll do that. Let me pick this on up, but on the way over there, because I can kind of show you the map a little bit. So you can buy bird feeders. Uh, this one's already here. So you got to hit your middle mouse button, then scroll to what you want in the bottom right hand corner. You can see it. Hit your middle mouse button again. You can see the bird seed is there. Put it on in. Now by putting bird seed into there, you're going to get paid from... Uh, We'll just say like the government, a uh, little money here or there to just want to make sure I'm going the right way, uh, you know, for feeding the birds. So more bird feeders you put down, more bird seed you put in, the better. So I do want to walk around the woods a little bit. Now, the one thing I will tell you, uh, you cannot cross any waterways. So if there's a stream, pond, lake or what have you, uh, you got to cross a bridge or go around it. So there's no walking across the water. So just keep that in mind. So just to show you, hopefully it's, uh, yeah, see, I can't cross the water here. You definitely got to go over the bridge. Let's see, uh, yeah, okay, so here's the uh, meadow area. This is where we got a place to beehives. Oh, good, I found a place right with flowers right away. So hopefully this is good enough. Ah, see how the honeycomb symbol comes above the beehive? That tells us that we are in an area with bees and uh, that will slowly fill up with honey, I assume. Now there's a day nighttime cycle. We can kind of see it's getting towards nighttime. Um, did I get my flashlight? I did, perfect. So there are plenty of bridges around here and there. So that's a good thing. Actually for what I'm seeing now, I see on the compass uh, where the blue flag is, we're going right there. It also has my home symbol. So I think the blue flag, I can probably pick that up and use it elsewhere. But if I go to the map, it shows me where the beehives currently are. I keep hitting escape. Um, so I guess I could pick up the blue flag if I wanted to. All right, let's get back home and let's see what the next step is. I'm sorry if I feel like I, I may be rushing a little bit. That's because I know I only got like a 30 minute uh, time limiter on this. So it tells me here, buy a steel crowbar from the online store, which you can safely disarm snares left in the forest by poachers. Put the disarmed snares in the middle container. You'll earn money in the process. Now, it brought me here before, and I could not find. Let me exit out of that. I could not find where there was a snare. So I thought it brought me here to tell me there's a snare here, but I, I don't see one. So 
So it may be a little bit off to the side or it's not quite there yet. I'm not quite sure. Um, yeah, without the flashlight, I'm not going to see nothing. Hmm. Not seeing it. All right, uh, let me go ahead and put that away. I think what I could use, though, is a hammer to, to bash up some stuff. Uh, let's come over to here. What does it say here? Uh, you may get lucky and find colored bags with uh, with items already in it. Yeah, we found the ones already back here. I showed you that. And then, uh, oh, it's going to show me about the birdhouse, which I've already taken care of. Yep, so I'll tell you right there. Uh, keep an eye on for grain. You can get an additional bonus of $120 from the Save the Forest Foundation for fitting the birds. Uh, same thing kind of like with the honey. Uh, you can go out and collect the honey and sell it. I don't know if I mentioned that or not. Uh, what does this say here? Congratulations, you complete the forestry tutorial. Now you can take care of your own forest on your own. As a reminder, the control legend is located under the F1 key. Uh, so hopefully I can still play the additional 21 uh, or sorry, 30 minutes or whatever. Let's come in here. I want to get another container. I think they're only $50. Uh, I want to get a different, uh, different color container. Uh, the purple one we don't have. So let's go ahead and buy that one. That brings me on down to $2.66. Now, when I was out on the Sam, uh, the quest tutorial one, um, I did find areas where they have like a fence around it and it shows where containers can go. So... It looks like uh, you'll be able to put more containers around the map so you don't have to bring everything back here. Uh, there's our purple container. Uh, selective uh, batteries, empty packages after cleaning up uh, after cleaning up products, tires, chemicals. All right, so yeah, this is one for tires. So let's go ahead and we'll get rid of these tires up here. Yeah, it's kind of a shame it's only like 30 minutes, but you know, it is a demo. Um, on the quest one, I did a lot of running around on the map and that would just take up a lot of time. Yes, you get to see the map, but it's just basically forest. There is wildlife. I've seen deer. I think I've seen like uh, wild pigs as well. Only 40 cents for a tire. Okay. Now there is trash in quite a few areas around here. Um, I don't know if you, as you pick it up, there's more spawn as you play along, not too sure. Like I said, with the tutorial only being 30 minutes long, or we can only play for 30 minutes before the game closes on you. It's kind of hard to figure out how the game's gonna be in the long run. But so far, um, I am liking it. I like the idea of it. Go ahead and put that on in there. I thought there was a way though to empty out the trash. No, that's a to get what kind of color of trash. All right, so this will be mixed trash. Okay, that was a minus $5.40. So you don't really don't want mixed trash. Uh, let's go into here and let's get the blue stuff. Because we do have a blue container I can throw it into. If you don't have the container, it's not a big deal. Let's go ahead and put it aside. All right, I do want to try something out here though. Wait, that should be a blue bag. Oh, I picked up something that wasn't all blue. Because it's a mixed bag. Alright, so I thought I picked up everything that was blue, but apparently not. So you can see in the bottom left-hand corner, it shows a blue outline. So I picked up everything that's blue. Now, when I did the quest line, it was giving me like experience points for something. So it might be some kind of a skill leveling tree that we can do in that. Um. Oh, okay. Okay, wait a minute. I got it. I think I got it. All right, let me pick that back up. All right, how did I do that? Okay, so if you press and hold the right mouse button down, it'll empty out the bag. Ah, gotcha. Okay, now I figured out how to do that. Let me just go ahead and, and just top that right down in there. 
Okay, let me get this bag out here. The one that has uh, mixed trash into it. Hold down the right button. Okay, so... Yep, I did pick up a yellow piece. That's why it was a mixed bag. Yes, bring that money back on in. Let's go ahead and pick all this stuff up here. As fast as I can. Yeah, I'm getting to do a lot more on this tutorial than I did my first time around. Of course, I had to read everything. Um, I'm trying to figure out most of it as I possibly could. And I'm just trying to give you guys breezing through most of it. So, getting a car, I can see, is going to be very helpful in the future uh, because there's places like this all around the map. So, collecting one bag and not getting it mixed up would be kind of a pain. So, by having a truck, you can just collect a bag and then uh, put it in the back of the truck, then come back home and then dump it all away. So when, you're, when you have this open, uh, so you can see it with the color of the trash, I think it said it was a dollar a minute, which doesn't sound like a lot, but in the early stages, we don't have that much cash. <laughs> it's kind of expensive, isn't it? Uh, yeah, blue, blue. Let me put that down. So wh what is this considered? I think this is just considered regular trash. Okay, so if I turn that off, if I put this now into here, do I get penalized because it's, it's... No, I only get, I get the dollar, so I didn't get penalized. So if I were to throw like blue trash in there, I think I would get penalized. So yeah, just be, you, gotta, you gotta be very careful with your trash in this game, it appears which is the way it should be. All right, I think that's all the trash around here, actually. All right, I actually got it cleaned up here. The, when I did the uh, tutorial, I did not. Well, I mean, when I did the tutorial, I mean the first time I did it. All right, so now we got blue trash. There we go. Uh, I don't need to click on the containers. So some of our stuff in the auction has sold. Um, I am out of bird seed. So if I were to come into here, uh, what's this here? So, oh, the car's 250. I thought it was 900. Now it's showing me 250. A battery, fuel, uh, transmission, I guess a radiator, tire, muffler, and I'm gonna say oil. Right, where do I buy the bird feed? Um, one, two, three, we'll buy the bird feed. And I really can't buy anything else. So do I have all the trash cans currently in the game? I think so. Blue, yellow, green, red, purple, and all these different color flags. So if you're wondering how big the map is, uh, let me get the map out. Uh, you can scroll around here. So the map is a little bit bigger than when you ping on it. So you saw how far it took me to go out to get to the beehives. We're probably gonna go out there again, see, if, see how to collect honey, because I did not get a chance to do that the first time. Um, you can also get on here where it says skills, achievements, uh, quest. Right now there's no quest. Uh, notes and stats. Um, apparently I got two beehives. I haven't sold any honey. I haven't put out any fires. I have one bird feeder. I did collect mushrooms, uh, not with you guys, but with someone else. You can actually see how much trash you've thrown away. Interesting. And traps and trash cans, I guess. <laughs> okay. Yeah, every time I hit exit, it does does that. So, um, oh wait, there's an outhouse here. I don't remember seeing the outhouse. Can I? Do I actually use the outhouse? Uh, no, apparently not. All right, so our house is looking a little bit better. So yeah, it's going to take a while before our bird seed shows up. I don't think um, I'll get that in the meantime. Is there a uh, trap here? Because this is where it brought me to disarm a trap. Or at least tell me about a trap, and I don't see one here. Maybe if I come down by the water, I'll see one. 
I, I have yet to really see one, so I can't tell you what they really look like. All right, let's see if I can get out to our beehives before my 30 minutes is up. And maybe along the way, I'll see a, a, a trap or something. Okay, I think this is the road I was on. Just following where the honeycomb symbol is on the compass on the bottom part of the screen. Uh, there's some deer right there. All right, so how do I collect the honey? Oh, just, just pick it up right there. And it goes in my inventory, which is in the bottom right hand corner of my screen, as you can see. Uh, the map shows another beehive out here. I don't know if I own that or not. Or does it just tell me where I should be putting beehives? Uh, here's some mushrooms we can go... No, it's not going to let me pick up these mushrooms. Interesting. Why can't I pick up those mushrooms? I couldn't tell you. Oh, there's a beehive right here. There we go. Uh, I'm not sure how to sell the honey because it's the first time I've collected the honey. You can see there's trash out here. Um, let me go ahead and pick up this trash here. What I would do in the beginning stages is when you get to a trash pile, just try to find what color shows up the most and maybe pick that up. I don't know if we get paid by the weight of the trash we bring back or, or what have you, but uh, we'll just pick that up. And I forgot to start my stopwatch when I started this to see how far 30 minutes would bring me. Yeah, I'm really hoping this music isn't copyrighted because uh, I'm enjoying it. I really would like to find a, a trap though. Can I collect these mushrooms? Oh, there we go. Yay, discovered a new species of mushroom. Check out the mushroom atlas for more information. I wonder why I couldn't pick up the other mushrooms. Yeah, so I think that's a wild, a wild pig. So that noise you hear, the first time I was hearing that noise, I thought it was a woodpecker, but it's actually um, telling me I so sold something at the auction. Or something has arrived, like my bird seed. I keep uh, trying to play this game like I do others every time I see a river. I'm like, I'll just cross here. And the game's like, no, no, you will not. I'm really trying to find a snare or a trap so I know what they look like. So as for getting paid by uh, the foundation for feeding birds and whatnot, I don't know how often that will happen. I'm not really seeing any snares anywhere. And I don't want to step in one either. Throw that away. Um, how, how do I sell the honey now? <laughs> I don't think I sell it in here. Do I... Ah, so it looks like I gotta put it in here. So you gotta auction off your own honey. Alright. I don't know how much we get paid for the honey. And 
And let's see, the bird seed should be over here. Yeah, I'm not really getting a whole bunch of cash for the stuff I'm sold in the auction. Um, is this all yellow stuff? that button there all right this is shown as this mixed material Ooh, that was three dollars and fifty cents I think if I had a hammer um, I can actually break that material down and then I'll be able to put it into a trash bag Keep hitting Q. I just want to do that. And we'll drop that in here. Let's come over to here. And did I buy a hammer yet? Now let me go feed the bird feeder again. Because it is out. Uh, so it's one bag per feeder. All right, we'll put that away. I would really like to find a snare, but maybe they're not really in the game yet. I don't know. Uh, the trash can that's here, I cannot pick up. Yeah, I'm not sure what those are. They look like overgrown chipmunks to me, but <laughs> I think they might be pigs. Not too sure if anyone really knows. Uh, yeah, leave a comment below. All right, so since the game hasn't exited out on me this time, um, I think we'll just wander around here a little bit. So you can kind of see what the map has to offer. Uh, like I said, it's mostly forest area. But maybe we'll find a snare somewhere. And no, okay, so this is my 30 minutes. Game time has expired in the demo version. Unfortunately, that the game is only 30 minutes long. In the next release of the game, you will play longer for sure. So anyways, guys, I uh, just want to show you what the Forest Ranger Simulator is all about. Like I said, uh, the kicks it should be on Kickstarter on the 12th of January. If I remember, I'll put the link in the description below. If I forgot to do so, just shoot out a comment saying, hey, dummy, put the link in the description below. And I'll do that. <laughs> but that is going to do it for Forest Ranger Simulator for now. Um, yeah, I'll try to bring more of this to you in the future when more gets... Uh, at least uh, it gets allowed for us to play and uh, I'm looking forward to it. But that's going to do it for today, guys. Hopefully you guys did enjoy the episode. I do appreciate you watching as always. I'll catch you again somewhere sometime. But until then, have a good one.